Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about use a graph to locate the absolute maximum and absolute minimum. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. All right. So we've learned before what a local maximum and local minimum are, and what's the difference really here with an absolute maximum and absolute minimum? Well, any graph can really only have one absolute maximum or one absolute minimum. Okay, there are only one of those. Where other graphs, we can have many local maxes and many local minimums. Sometimes a value will fall into both of these categories, where it will be a local maximum and the absolute maximum. Okay, so that is possible. But here we can see where it's a little different on our graph. This here is a, a function that's truncated some. Okay, and now notice that we have two endpoints there. The first is the absolute minimum here with f of 0 is equal to negative 2. So when x is 0, we have a y value of negative 2, and that's an absolute minimum of the graph, the, graph, the lowest possible value on that graph. And at gra that point, it's actually also a local minimum as well. But notice here, we would have no local maximum. We have an absolute maximum at f of 2 equals 2. Okay, so the x value is 2, we have a y value of 2, and that is the absolute highest value on this graph. Now, be careful though, or think about it. It's an endpoint. Endpoints can't be local, right? So there's no local mins or local maxes for an endpoint, but here we can have that for absolute. So an absolute max or absolute minimum can be an endpoint. That's important to note. Okay, so again, max, we can only have a maximum of one absolute max and only one absolute minimum. All right, so let's go with the definition here. The absolute, or absolute maximum and minimum. The absolute maximum of f at x equals c is f of c, where f of c is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in the domain of f. The absolute minimum of f at x equals d is f of d, where f of d is less than or equal to f of x for all x in the domain of f. Oof, big definition. Okay. All right, so let's go look at a graph here. We have number 10, okay? In this graph here, we want to find all absolute maximum and absolute minimums, okay? And I kind of, <laughs> this one gets you, it's a little, well, we'll see, we'll dive into it. <clears throat> so let's look at our graph here. What do we notice, okay? Sorry, I did miss, but uh, I misspoke on having only one absolute maximum. Okay, <laughs> there can only be one y value that's the absolute maximum, but sometimes in this case here we have two x values that have that same height, that same absolute height. So if we notice here we have two what we call local maximums at x equals negative 2 and positive 2, so we're going to find the absolute maximum here, absolute max. Okay, so again, apologies, I misspoke, I'm clarifying it here, but the absolute maximum here. And <clears throat> notice there that that happens, we have the two peaks there happen at x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. Okay, so the height there is 16. So the x coordinates are negative 2 and x equals 2, which is the height, the y coordinate here is 16. So we have a height of 16 there. And when the x is negative 2 and x is positive 2. Okay, so those, that would be our absolute maximums. We technically have two, there's a technicality when they're the same exact height. That can't happen. What about absolute min? Okay, we find the absolute minimum. Alright, so we look down and we see, well, a few things that catch my eye. We have the local minimum, right, at x equals 0, where it goes from decreasing to increasing. But that's actually not the absolute minimum. The absolute minimum happens all the way at x equals positive 3. And then is the lowest, the x value for the lowest y value on our graph. And the y coordinate here, it's kind of hard to see from the graph, but according to my notes here, is negative 10. Okay, so the y coordinate there is negative 10. So if you want to say a point, it's 3 comma negative 10. Right there, 3 comma negative 10, that's a <laughs> pretty bad negative 10. And the 2x value is negative 2 comma 16 and positive 2 comma 16 
here as well. Okay, so there we can see our again absolute minimum at negative 10 uh, right there. So we have our absolute maxes technically two. Again, sorry about that. Absolute minimum there at negative uh, three comma negative 10. All right. So I hope you learned something in here on how to use a graph to locate the absolute maximum and absolute minimum. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com